27th Wednesday September I think hell of a day hell of a day my first load of my four to six iron ore was about three yard it did okay that's pretty heavy then a five yard of basically three inch uh, road base had a hell of a time getting it to dump ended up uh, using the four truck to bump it so I said okay a whole less weight three yards of three quarter or seven eighths crushed limestone with the powder I actually that's what I want wouldn't dump that son of a bitch had to get the four truck out again I about decided come hell or high water I'm going to hook up to my big equipment trailer tomorrow and I'm bringing my backhoe down here I fought this all day long now my dump trailer is brand new these guys make a good trailer so obviously I'm doing something wrong I have no idea what it is normally on these dump trailers when they're hooked to a truck they charge from your seven way when you're going up and down the road keep the battery up so either I started out with an unusually low battery first thing this morning or my charging system from my seven way is not functioning I still got to put this thing up and chain it to my container and I'm going to pull the battery and leave it on my good charger overnight and see what that does. The battery is not very big. The problem is there ain't a whole lot of room. They call that a marine battery. I'll take their word for it. So I don't know. I got to figure something out. I know that. I can mount a secondary battery box and uh, hook up another battery, bigger one, uh, drill through the, the hydraulic pump and battery box, run my leads through it, and run a two battery setup. And I don't know. It's brand new trailer, brand new pump, brand new everything. Now the pump only pumps out 3,000 PSI and when the battery voltage goes low it would start the pump would start cycling off on its own it's a protection feature so you don't burn the motor up but my other dump trailer was a Texas Pride basically the same setup except it was a gooseneck and not a bumper pool and I had a hard time overloading it. So I don't know. And when I get this thing parked and put the safety bar in place, I'm going to grease the living heck out of it tomorrow. I did that when I first took it to the farm, but it's been a while that it has not been used. So uh, this is going to take some head scratching here. I will get it figured out. I have no doubt of that. And it's only showing the battery is showing less than 40% charge right now and it's pulling 16.4 amps. So she's low on voltage, low on charge. But very frustrating day. Yeah, 95 degrees, of course. And uh, it's just been a heck of a day. It's uh, after 5 o'clock and I'm still here. I'll probably be here for another hour. But all things are fixable. So, let me go drink some water while the battery's charging, put this thing up and lock it to the container and head toward La Casa. That's all for this one. Thank you.